Badgers have lived in valleys like this since the end of the last ice age, long before people settled here. In those days, the landscape was covered in trees, and so woodland wildlife prospered. More than half the badger's diet consists of earthworms, so deep, rich Devon soils make this a particularly good place to live. But what is good for badgers is also good for people. As ancient wood gave way to farmland, the valley was transformed, suiting badgers even better. Badger trails still crisscross the land, but now they mark fields rather than forest. Nowadays, they snag themselves on fencing, not just twigs. Many of their paths may have been used since Roman times, but all trails still lead back to the remnants of ancient wood that survived where it's too steep to plow. This is the badger's refuge from the modern world. It's where they live as they have always done. The old boar is the dominant male of this group, which includes a couple of younger males, a dominant sow, and three other females. Until now, we've known little about their home. Not much to see on the surface, just a scattering of holes and heaps of soil. But down below, they dig a labyrinth, an underground bunker that's been key to their success. Three stories deep, extending over 60 meters of woodland with 300 meters of tunnels and chambers. Over centuries, they've shifted hundreds of tons of soil as the set has expanded and contracted in line with the family's fortunes. Most of a badger's life is spent down here. So this is a privileged glimpse into a secret world. By March, in the deepest part of the set, the dominant sound has already given birth. Three cubs are common in a litter, but not all may survive to emerge above ground. These cubs are now just five weeks old and their eyes are beginning to open. Already, they wear the distinctive stripe of their kind. Their first year will be the most dangerous as they leave the safety of their set and venture into the woods and fields beyond. 